their gang origins have been lost in the mist of time. But for years members of Birmingham's notorious Johnson Crew gang thought they could kill and maim with impunity. And for a while they were right, as they terrorized parts of inner city Birmingham acting as judge, jury and on more than one occasion as executioner. Formed in the late 80s to combat white supremacists, the Johnson Crew quickly morphed into a criminal enterprise when the far-right threat disappeared. They initially concentrated their efforts on overcoming the Jamaican-born so-called Yardies who would bully and threaten the local homeboys who they considered soft. By the mid-1990s the Johnson crew had overrun the local Yardies by employing the same brutal and ruthless violence of their adversaries. In 1997 police arrested several high-ranking members of the Johnson crew after a DJ, Jason Wharton, was shot dead in his car in Handsworth. The local black community refused to cooperate with police but this time detectives took no chances. The trial at Leicester Crown Court led to several convictions, and the public first heard of the Johnson crew. It wasn't until the murders of innocent teenage partygoers Letitia Shakespeare and Charlene Ellis in 2003 that the Johnson crew again came to national attention. Until that fateful day, the bloody turf war for the lucrative city drugs trade between the Johnson crew and its city rivals the Burger Bar Boys had been relatively unknown to all but those most affected by them. But by the time of the girls' murders their terrifying influence had been cemented with more than a decade of ruthless violence, murder, and shootings. Born out of the poverty and decay in inner-city Birmingham, the Johnson crew emerged from the ashes of the Handsworth riots in 1985. 